In this question, the principle provides that the liability of joint tort feasors is joint and several. The plaintiff has the right to recover the entire claim from one of the tort feasors. Explanation A joint tort feasor who has been made to pay more than his share of damages can claim the contribution from other joint tort feasors for their share of wrong. The amount of contribution will depend upon other person's responsibility for the damage. Now, the facts in the present question. Mr. Christo sued Amar and Akbar for negligence. The proceedings terminated in favor of Mr. Christo and the court held that both of them were equally liable for the damage caused. Mr. Christo recovered the whole amount of Rs. 50,000 awarded as damages from Akbar who thereon sued Amar for recovering 25,000 as his share of contribution. Decide whether Amar is liable to make contribution of Rs. 25,000 or not. The correct answer over here is yes, he is, that is B, as Akbar was made to pay for not only his share of responsibility but also for Amar's. He can claim a contribution of Rs. 25,000 from Amar. Now the reason why B is the correct answer is if we read the principle properly, uh, we get to know that the liability of joint tort feasors is joint and several. The plaintiff has the right to recover the entire claim from one of the joint from one of the tort feasors, right? So now, second part states that now if we apply the first uh, principle which is appended to the given set of facts, we get to know that both Amar and Akbar, Amar and Akbar were uh, joint tort feasors, right? Therefore. The, their liability is joint and several and the plaintiff that is Mr. Christo can sue either Amar or Akbar. Now further if we apply the explanation to the, uh, the facts in the present question we get to know that a joint tort feasor who has been made to pay more than his share right so over here the joint tort feasor was Akbar who was uh, who was made to pay more than his share he can claim contribution from other other joint tort feasor being Amar for his share of the wrong, right? The amount of contribution will depend upon the other person's responsibility for the damage. So basically, we will be applying principle and the explanation to the given set of facts and therefore the correct answer is B. That is, yes, as Akbar was made to pay for not only his share of responsibility but also for Amar's. He can claim a contribution of Rs. 25,000 from Amar. B is the correct answer.